cities across America struggling with population loss and home abandonment. This is a phenomena that we know as blight. So what is blight actually? Blight is a phenomena of both neighborhood and property decay. It results from struggling economies and um, poor urban policies that were set in place years ago and takes years to develop. Blight spreads from home to home as a virus, but once it spreads, its neighborhood effect is extensive. We're working with the city of Cincinnati to try to help them build data-driven tools to find early, early warning signs of blight. Blight doesn't happen in one day, it's a process. This is a condominium in Cincinnati that when we visit in 2009, it's fine, it's habitable, it's beautiful, and it has some violations, but it's fine. In 2011, we visit again, and it has been barricaded, it's not habitable anymore. And in 2014, we know that it was demolished in 2012, but it's still producing a lot of building and health violation. And again, the neighborhood, the neighborhood effect here is extensive. We want to help the city to think about how we can go from reactive to proactive um, inspection policy and catch this phenomena before it develops and becomes worse. So how do we actually do that? Uh, we use data sets from the history of inspection from the last 10 years in Cincinnati and some open data, census data, and build a model to predict the risk of a home having a building violation. So in this map, every point that you see um, represents a building and its probability of having a building violation. Red meaning a very high probability and green meaning a very low probability. As, as you see, there are some very healthy uh, areas in Cincinnati while there's others that are struggling. We found that currently our model predicts only areas that have been suffering for years and that's why we're working with the city to validate our model and see how we can catch areas that are on the tipping point and might be still salvageable. So two takeaways from this map. We can either think about the red areas as areas that we need to enforce very hard and see what we can do in order to make these people um, fix their homes. But another thing, we can use this as an early detection and red flags of areas that we can invest in. Areas that are deteriorating but need resources from the city to help them develop and bring them to the right path. So in order to um, implement this in the daily day life of inspections, we're delivering our, our partner a dashboard that represents the map with the risk and um, of course a list of buildings that they can prioritize by, again, the risk of a building having a building violation. One of the things that we're thinking about in order to improve our model is to create a prioritization. So we have heard from our partners from the last 10 years that a lot of LLCs and corporations are coming into Cincinnati and playing a chance with the market, building, um, buying homes and not putting them into code. So this will allow them to catch the, th these uh, owners early on before Again, the, the situation of blight um, gets, gets worse. So to sum up, we're building a data-driven tool for early detection of blight to help the city of Cincinnati and possibly other cities to build safe and um, happy environments and neighborhoods in, in across America. Thank you very much.